Flow SOM in FCS Express 7. Flow SOM and other pipelines are accessed from the Tools tab Transformations button. Click the blue plus to add a pipeline. Choose the gate on which the pipeline will be run, corresponding to the events of interest. The template file will default to the most recently accessed file, but can be changed here. Right-click to select all parameters if you'll want to access them later, regardless of whether they're used to calculate the flow SOM. Click on the second blue plus to add flow SOM from the predefined algorithms category. A flow SOM step is added with six sub-steps. Under New Scaling, select the parameters on which flow SOM will be calculated. The type of scaling to be applied will be automatically retrieved from the instrument-specific settings if the default setting of Automatic is left checked. In New Self-Organizing Map, the list of parameters on which flow SOM will be calculated must be defined. These will automatically carry over from the previous step, but can be changed. You can also define the size of the SOM 2D grid here. Other sub-steps include the new minimum spanning tree, the new graph layout, from which you can choose radio or arch according to your aesthetic preference, the new consensus clustering, which defines the metaclusters. It's suggested to check this box to facilitate metacluster gating downstream, and the new parameter removal, which by default will remove the scaled parameters from plot axes as they're generally unneeded there. Now we're ready to view the results. Insert a plate heat map from the Insert tab and dismiss the message. Apply the pipeline to all or selected plots via the right-click menu. Change the parameters to SOM cluster assignments and a raw data parameter of interest. Add a legend. Here, red to green indicates the average CD4 expression of each node, and the peripheral color around each node denotes its metacluster. Under Overlays, you can change the statistic to show and add a radius to control the cluster size. Here, we'll set it to side scatter mean, or number of events. You can change the node size range under specific options. Under color levels, you can adjust the quantitative color scaling, or you can change the coloring scheme altogether. You can add overlays to view multiple parameters, gates, or statistics as slices of each node. Note that you can go back and adjust the pipeline at any time and watch the results update in real time. Here, we'll change the number of metaclusters and the number of clusters or nodes in the SOM2D grid.